Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you the next stage of the dynamic web series. So in the first uh, episode, you should have downloaded the software layout from hv-designs. Um, and you also need to have Microsoft Visual Web Developer 2010 Express installed. So if you haven't got that installed yet, I'll leave an annotation on this video to my first video that I ever made of how to install Visual Web Developer. Okay, so once you've got all that set up, if you open up Visual Web Developer, and we're going to create a new website. And it's going to be Visual C Sharp, and it's going to be ASP.NET Empty Website. So if we just click on Browse, and then I'm going to save mine in the following location. You can save yours where you like, and just click on Open. And then that's now changed the path down here. And if you just click on OK, and there we go, that's now created the basic site so we need to create some folders so on the top option here yours will probably have a different name mine says dynamic site is that's the name of the folder I've saved my project in so if I right click on that and do new folder I'm going to call this one images create another folder we're going to call this one style this is going to be where we put our CSS style sheets and then if we right click on the images one click on new folder and create a folder inside that called structure so that's going to be the images that for the structure of the website and then also again if we create another folder and we'll call this js for javascript because we might throw in some uh, jquery uh, javascript into the website as well so if we just click on the link again at the top and we click on add new item and we're going to select master page and we're going to leave the name as master page .master. click on add There you go, that's now created that page for us and opened it. And then we're going to create one more page and it's going to be add new item. It's going to be the web form, so it's just a standard uh, ASPX page. And this time we're going to click on the option here that says select a master page. So click on add. And then we've only got one master page, so it's going to be this one and click on OK. Okay, so so far then we've created the folder structure. We've created a master page which holds all of the elements that will be on every single page and we've created a default page so there's just one more page that we need to create if we right click on the style folder and go to add new item and if we come down this list we shall see style sheet so if we select that and we'll just call this style.css and then click on add and now we've now got a style sheet so I'm just going to change the order so it's got default master page and style sheet. Now that we've created all the folders and created the style sheet and the master page and the default page, uh, we're now ready to start creating some code. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it here for now and then I'll upload another video uh, straight after this one. So as always, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments um, and I'll catch you later.